welcome back to another TechMinds video. So today we're going to be taking a look at decoding the GPS signals using an SDR Play RSPDX and using the multi PSK software to decode these packets of data. Now, what is the GPS? Well, it's differential GPS, which is essentially a system to provide positional corrections to GPS signals. Now DGPS uses a fixed known position to adjust the real time GPS signals to eliminate any errors. Now these errors can be caused by a few different factors which include cloud coverage, rainfall and propagation. Now as the signal from the GPS satellites battle its way through the atmosphere, a delay occurs, even more so if there's rain, lightning or any other kind of interference in the atmosphere. This signal delay will then produce position accuracy errors in the receiving GPS engines. Now it's important to know that DGPS corrections only improve the accuracy of position data only. DGPS has no effect on results that are based on speed data. Now because the DGPS ground stations know exactly where they are, they are able to take the error field GPS data from the satellites and then transmit its own correction data so that nearby GPS receivers can correct themselves. Now this is most useful for vehicles such as planes, boats and even cars. Your mobile phone however would possibly use another form of GPS correction known as AGPS which stands for assisted GPS and that's provided through your GSM phone network but today we're not talking about AGPS. To give you an idea of the effects that the errors can have, a delay of 16 nanoseconds could produce up to a 5 meter error in the captured position, whereas a 1.5 nanosecond delay could be up to 50 centimeters. There are also other types of DGPS, which include the correction signal actually coming from another satellite. So these DGPS transmissions are transmitted from a few select places around the world. Normally each country would have their own system in place. Now I'll leave a link down in the description of a really useful document as shown here, which shows the transmit frequency of the DGPS stations and it's sorted by country. So as you can see here, we have a few dotted around the UK. Now as these are transmitted on a really low frequency, normally around 300 kilohertz, it's possible you might be able to receive DGPS transmissions from other nearby countries. So let's take a look at some DGPS transmissions and then decode them with multi-PSK. So this is what the DGPS transmissions sound like. As you can see here, I'm on upper sideband. I've got the bandwidth set quite narrow. As we drag over multi-PSK, we can see that it's, uh, it's decoding nicely. So it does give you a description of the location here. So this is Worm Layton, if that's pronounced correctly. And it shows you a whole host of information and uh, correction. It says here, GPS partial correction set. Now the way this works, it works like just any other kind of decoder software. Uh, Multi-PSK takes the audio output from SDR Uno, but SDR Uno pumps it into VB audio cable. So let's take a look at another one here. Got a fairly weak signal here, and if this one actually looks like it's coming from France. Uh, Hueville, FRA it says there in the station. Station number 460. So let's see if we can find another one. Some of these signals are really, really weak. Let's see if we can decode some of these. So this is just off the other one, the worm Layton that we saw earlier. This is just a, uh, a few hertz down. Let's see if this decodes. And there we go. This is Flan. This is Flanborough Head. So this is another one in the UK. You can just see how strong the uh, worm latent one is there to the right. But this one's quite weak. Luckily the RSPDX is able to pull these signals out and using uh, SDR Uno is doing a fantastic job of finding these. So here's another one. This one is North Foreland on 299.5 on kilohertz. 
obviously I'm slightly off because I'm on upper sideband. So let's try another really weak one, see if we can get some of these weak ones decoding. So you can see in the waterfall, you can see where the signal roughly is and you just click the mouse so it's in the center. And here we have, God, I can't even pronounce that, Gil's Rijen with H-O-L. So is that Holland maybe? Well, that's pretty impressive. So I think this uh, DGPS transmit is coming from Holland. And this is on 302.0 kilohertz, uh, station number 652. I could probably look that up in the uh, PDF document that I showed you earlier. I find it quite interesting as well. It uh, shows you the satellite number and also the correction as well on each of those packets. Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead. Let's try another weak one and see if we can decode this and see where it is. Okay, so this is St. Catherine's, station number 680 on 307.5 kHz. That's decoding quite nicely. Okay, let's, uh, let's try this one, see what we're going to get from here. Okay, so this is uh, station number 689, this is Nash Point. WLS, which I presume is actually standing for Wales. So the software used in this uh, video is Multi-PSK. Um, it does cover DGPS as shown here, but the DGPS side of it is actually time limited. So if you want to use it without having to restart the application every couple of minutes, then you can actually go ahead and purchase a license for it. I just want to say a thanks to Mike Ladd. He recently done a video on this particular same subject as well. Um, obviously, he's over in the States, so he done a video covering the DGPS transmitters over there in the States. So I thought I'd do one for over here in the UK and obviously for, for you guys as well. It'll be interesting to find out where all you guys are in, in the world and if you can pick any of, any of these up and uh, if you can pick any up that are in any other country as well. Also want to say a massive thanks to my patrons, as always, it's much appreciated and you really help and contribute towards the channel. If you want to get involved with that, you've got the link in the description below. Until the next video, guys, I hope you have a great rest of the day, and until the next one, I'll see you then.